This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Details on a new parking app for the city of Hazleton and a look at this year's Standard Speaker Athlete of the Week Awards next. Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm Ken Cara and I'm so happy you could be with us. Here's your local information. The city of Hazleton is trying to make it easier to park downtown. Our Lisa Sugar gets an update in today's news feature. There's a new way to pay for parking in the city of Hazleton. It is a brand new parking app called Park Mobile. Here to tell us all the details is Ralph Sharp. Ralph is the director of Hazleton Public Transit for the city of Hazleton. Ralph, thanks so much for being here. My this pleasure. is exciting. This is a great app. It is. It is. We're, we're bringing Hazleton into the future. So. That's good. We had an app before. That one was a little difficult. So this is brand new. It just went into effect. That is correct. Uh, prior to Park Mobile app, we had uh, an app called Pango. We didn't find it to be uh, that user friendly on the front end and on the back end. So uh, we did some research and we came across this app. It's called Park Mobile. It's used all throughout Pennsylvania. It's in Easton. It's in Bethlehem. It's in Harrisburg. Allentown uh, State College, so it's widely used and it, it is very user friendly. It is because I've used it in State College okay. and it is very easy to yes. use. We like it a lot. Yes. And it gives you a reminder when your time is running out. That is correct. The nice feature about this is if you were to pay at the meter, which we still will take coin at the meter, you're only, you only can pay up to two hour max. Mm -hmm. With this Park Mobile app, you can pay up to nine hours. So if you put in, let's say, for example, four hours, you can get a reminder on your phone. You can say, oh, geez, it's gonna, I'm going to be another hour. And you can automatically rejuvenate your time for another hour, which is a nice feature. That is a really nice feature because it makes things simple. Because a lot of times yes. you're somewhere and you're like, I'm running out of time. I have to run, run out and back. plug the meter right. or right. you forget to plug the meter. So right. this makes it simple. But yes. if you don't have a cell phone or a smartphone to do this, you could still put the money the yes, same it, way. The, the meters still accept nickels, dimes, and quarters. And it is uh, 50 cents per half hour. So. Okay, so it's a dollar an hour to yes. park in downtown yes. Hazleton. Yes. Now there's also kiosks, Ralph. So tell us why the kiosks, and they're gonna replace some meters. That is correct. Um, we have them on order currently. We are gonna be getting eight kiosks, and they're gonna run along Broad Street on the north and south side from Cedar Street up to Church Street. And the reason we're doing this, we, we wanna eliminate the uh, meter poles. It's gonna be easier to maintain the sidewalks come the winter. It's gonna be easier to plow. Um, less maintenance we're gonna have uh, using uh, these kiosks. So we think that'll be another thing to move Hazleton forward in the, in, when it comes to parking. So now, um, is this expensive for the city that you had to switch to this or is this making life easier? Um, well, each kiosk is roughly about uh, eight, six to 8,000. So it's gonna cost us about $61,000 for eight kiosks throughout the uh, downtown area currently. We're gonna see how this goes and then we'll look into moving them into other parts of the city also where there's existing meters. Does this encourage people to pay more? Like, you know, a lot of times we forget and we let it go. Do you think people pay more and stay longer because they have this availability? I think they will because it's more convenient and they'll give, it's easier to spend more time downtown in downtown area actually and do what they have to do. If somebody wants to learn more about this, where can they go? If somebody wants more information, they can go onto the city uh, website, which is uh, hazeltoncity.org. Click on uh, parking and all the information comes up. It tells you how to download the app if you have an Apple or an iPhone, if you have an Android. It tells you all that information uh, on the, our website. Okay, great. So uh, all people have to do when they want to park now, it's in effect right now, so yes. you can just download what is called the Park Mobile app. That is correct. And it explains itself. You're paying that way, like right out of your bank card or your credit card you, you, or however. You, what you'll do is once you set your account up, either by a credit card or a debit card, the in information can stay, stay in there. So it's very, very easy to use once that's done. So then you can use it at other cities that you go to as well. Absolutely. It's the same app everywhere you go, except you're in a different uh, city or state. Wow. That's really nice. Yes. 
that yes. that makes for <laughs> yeah. easy transition easy. when you go to park anywhere. That, yes. Well, I think it's going to be great. Um, I know we love it when we go out to State College, so yes. uh, definitely glad to see that you have this and hopefully will make things easy. But if you're not into apps, you still can pay with good old-fashioned money. That is correct. Ralph, thanks so much for explaining this all to us. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Today's news feature is brought to you by The Cheese Store and more. Go to their Facebook page to see their specials and check out their catering menu. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our weekend forecast from the National Weather Service. On Saturday, mostly sunny with a high near 62 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 28 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly clear with a low around 47 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. On Sunday, sunny with a high near 68 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 28 miles per hour. On Sunday night, mostly clear with a low around 46 degrees. On Monday, mostly sunny with a high near 72 degrees. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 53 degrees. On Tuesday, a 30% chance of showers after 8 a.m., partly sunny with a high near 75 degrees and on Tuesday night a 40% chance of showers partly cloudy with a low around 58 degrees. The Standard Speaker Sports Department is handing out their end of the year high school sports awards. Monoy area's Allison Babinski and Hazelton area's Matthew Casatis were named the area's most versatile athletes. Babinski played volleyball, basketball and track and field for the Lady Bears. She was an all area basketball player and a part of three District 11 championship teams. She was third at the District 11 AA track and field championships this year in the 100 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. She also helped the team win a Schuylkill League Division II title. A member of Mono Area's class of 2022, she was the salutatorian. Next year, she'll be playing basketball at Lebanon Valley College, where she plans to major in physical therapy. Casatis, a junior, recently won a state AAA silver medal in the triple jump. During football season, he had over 500 receiving yards for the Cougars, and he picked off four passes on defense. He suffered an injury during basketball season, but came back strong during track and field season. Babinski and Casatis will get their awards on Monday at the Standard Speaker Athlete of the Week Awards. Learn about other award winners in the Standard Speaker and at standardspeaker.com. Coming up in sports, we learn about the winning culture for MMI baseball as we talk with some of the players and two former players that coached the team to another district title this season. Next, how you can help kids in need get ready for next school year. SSP TV News will be right back. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The annual McAdoo Fire Company Bazaar will be held on Thursday through Sunday. This year's event has a new location on Grant and Hancock Streets in McAdoo. The event is open to the public. Dump the Pump will be held on June 16th, and on that day, anyone can ride the Hazleton Public Transit for free. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SB TV News, Blood Sense, and Sincere Condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Irene J. Guliani of McAdoo. Mass will be held on Saturday at 10 a.m. at Church of St. Joseph. Friends will be on Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Crotty News Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Lawrence House Nick of Browns Grove. Services will be private under the Harmon Funeral Home. Linda A. Condash, age 59, of Tresco. Mass will be held on Tuesday at 10 a.m. at Holy Rosary Roman Catholic Church. Friends will be called Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Damiano funeral home. And Helen Sable, age 83, of Las Vegas, Nevada, formerly of McAdoo. Services will be held in Las Vegas under the Palm Cheyenne Mortary. Tonight's obituaries are being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory, with two locations in Rockland and in Drums, 570-384-3312 or 570-788-0977. And go to harmonfuneral.com.